Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. Today's video is gonna be very special. I'm gonna be heading on down to the Echo Park Film Center for a very special screening tonight. But before I go to the screening, I have to come over here and pick up a special guest. Let's go in and see if he's here. Oh, you are here. What's up, man? Hey, you thought I was gonna be still on my way walking? Yeah, I think so. No, I think but man, you're looking sexy today. Well, as you guys saw, the special guest is Gabriel right now. You want to tell him what we're about to go do? We're about to go uh, to the Echo Park Film Center and all for our premiere of all five of our, of our films, right? Well, it's not really a premiere because we we had a premiere two years ago yeah, on the Blu-ray first that came out. was Ghetto. What we talk about? It was Ghetto. Yeah, but right now we're going down uh, to this theater uh, to have a, our second screening of our Night Owl short films that we, me and him made years ago. So let's go on down there and uh, see how it all turns out. Alright. Let's go. I did Wait. call Junior. Yeah, you did. I'm hungry. Yeah, you are. Alright, Gabriel, man. We finally made it on over here to Echo Park right now. There's like birds flying. There. Wait. Are, are those crows or are those birds? Because they're like cir they're circling around you. No, they're birds. They're pigeons. They're pigeons. They're pigeons. Okay, you're not gonna die yeah. anytime soon. Uh, you, we, have to, we have to like step over I this urine. I, I just, these these little urine marks yeah, out I here. Piss, my bad. Yeah, that's what happens, I guess, out here in uh you know <laughs> Echo Park. But we do have a little bit of time, you know, before the screening happens across the street over there at the Echo Park Film Center. Yeah. So we're gonna be going to El Rancho Market and uh, see if, what we see in there. Right. Do you think they're so weed? You race bastard, I swear. How is selling weed racist? It is. Okay. Fuck. So how you been though? I've been good. Yeah. Been working. Cause last time I saw you was like a couple weeks ago at my birthday party in uh, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, my hair was super long and shit. Man. Oh yeah, you finally got it. You finally got it cut. But huh. the only thing, the only thing that you didn't get cut was uh, those nose hairs. Yeah. It's okay. You're cute though. He's still cute. You're still rocking it. But we gotta make sure we don't get shot out here, Gabriel, because, like, holy shit. So, Gabriel, dude, what'd you end up getting over here at the market? You like those monster ones? Hell yeah. Well, you, have your favorite, you have a favorite kind? The original. Oh, that one? Would you call this place a market or a bodega? What's the difference between a market and a bodega? Is there a difference? I don't really think I would know the answer to that question, right? Just wondering, because uh, the first I, the first time I ever heard that word bodega was in that movie, or no TV show called Ghost Rider, when like the one of the characters. Um, there's a TV the, show called Ghost Rider. Yeah, where like kids are like solving mysteries. Oh, that, yeah, uh, all and that. Stuff. Oh, yeah, that Ghost Rider. I, I was. Yeah, it was like way back oh. in the day when this character, like one of the kids' like dads, runs a bodega downstairs and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh, it's like a little market, like a little corner market. To be honest, I wouldn't know. What kind of friend are you? All right, now we're outside of the Echo Park uh, Film Center right here, Gabriel, and we got our friend Joseph A. Sabor up in the house. Yeah, yeah, what's up, my man? Yeah. So wait, what you been up to the last like couple years since the last time I saw you? Well, I was doing some movie reviews on my channel. Yeah, which, which, which if you guys want to see his YouTube channel, there will be a link uh, down below in the description box of this video. Show him some support and love. Last time we hung out together, we were with Kel Mitchell yeah. and everything, doing a little interview and everything, which was super cool. Yeah. But Gabriel, you want to walk into the theater and show people what it looks like in there? Oh um, my guess. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's just walk in because it's 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 the Echo Park Film Center. But when you first walk in here, there's like people getting their their hair cut. It's like a barber shop slash yeah. um, you know film thing where they're having the screening in here. You you I get you come in here and they have like the screen up here on the wall. And these have all sorts of like film reels and a really cool dude sitting right there. What's up? Bow. But look at this, guys. They have like like bookcases of movies. It looks like something straight out of my house. Over here with just like random box sets of stuff. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. I saw something in here a couple a couple of minutes ago. It makes me it made me go, what is this? The <laughs> the watermelon man. Like <laughs> what? Because. That's a very VHS tape. Oh, I'm sure. Or see, let me put you some video. <laughs> yeah, but they have all sorts of like different T-shirts and just like things of DVDs yeah. and everything, and <laughs> has to have a handful of you know seats over here. And huh? What are you doing here, man? Am I in the wrong place? <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Uh, that's me. Oh, are you dropping popcorn now? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. But we're in here one. now. Well, what? I just met the wet one. It's his first time. Did, I, did I, I just give you the wet one? No. <laughs> no. Oh, because sometimes I just have to go. 
and then then do he's it. He's heard about the wet one, but he's never met the wet one. Or so it's yeah, just, it's okay. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. No one's ever gotten <laughs> no the wet one from the wet one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a shame. I know it's it's a, it's a weird it's a weird little What's that thing. Like? I don't know. Well, Gabriel, dude, that is kind of cool that they have like little couches and stuff in there. You can chill and watch it. Pretty chill, yeah. Pretty chill. Yeah. It starts in about like 15, 20 minutes, so, so right. hopefully we see some other people. So they're running all our movies back to back to back, right? Yeah, this is the short, the Night Owls yeah, ones. All our, yeah. Well, guys, uh, we just give you a little tour inside of the theater and everything. I'm sorry, just standing outside uh, right now, just waiting to see if other, you know, some other people show up because a, a group of people walked in and everything like that. It's an art house theater uh, that's out here. Never been here before. Looks kind of cool though, but I also see a very special guest showing up. Someone from the Night Owl series. What's up, Tex? Where you been at, Chris? But uh, yeah, man, yeah, my, my buddy Chris, the star of the first two Night Owls films. Star. Yeah, is, is in the house right now with his, with his son right here, Bastion. Say hi, Bastion. Hey, buddy. You ready to see your daddy on the big screen? Yeah. That's awesome, huh? So we're gonna be heading on in there. So cool, man. Me and him go way back. Hey, Gabriel, here's the second special guest, man. Bam. This is the second time you met him, huh? Yeah, the two of the stars. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, Andrew, you ever met Chris before from Night Owls? Yeah, man. Yeah, what? Well, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually invited. Yeah. I actually invited Ron, but he's out. He's out of town right now. So, dude, what, what have you been up to? Dude, I haven't seen you since like whatever that was. Basically, just a lot of work, unfortunately. Just Same old stuff. Yeah, but I mean, now, now like, I, I thought it, I couldn't get any busier, I got busier. I haven't been resting in a while. Yeah. I got, I got really sick, that's another thing. Yeah, yeah. But I've been good. My health is better. All right. Work is good, you know. How about you, man? I'm doing good. All right, Gabriel, man. Yo. We're in the theater now. Awesome. The lights are on. Mm -hmm. We've got a handful of people here just chilling, ready to watch these really bad movies <laughs> that, we, that we did. Hopefully you guys don't care if you're on this thing for a second. But, uh, yeah, you ready to screen them, Gabriel? I'm ready, yo. Let's you're not it. embarrassed? Nah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do it. And in watching these little short films, you can tell that Brendan really had an acute awareness to different types of filmmaking techniques. Mm -hmm. And so there was something that was just, I don't know, again, just really engaging and interesting to me. And references to like the movies that Brendan liked. And, and that we all kind of grew up yeah. enjoying. And uh, also obviously us being residents of the valley, yeah. we recognize the mm -hmm. landscape that was filmed around the, in the movie. So it was a really kind of a cool thing to go on YouTube and see these movies, but also know the places. And it was just like a, a really awesome thing to have on YouTube. And then obviously later we realized that uh, sometime after that they weren't available anymore. Yeah. And then that's when we reached out to Brendan and to try to put them all together in some sort of archive in a way that they exist in, as a piece, as a whole. And so we scoured through well, Brendan's I think, that's, I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, was yeah. When they got taken down, Brendan didn't even think to like backlog these and, and, <laughs> and, and save them anywhere. So he actually didn't really have like the highest quality of, of copies of these, right? No. Yeah, so I forget. Because I didn't think anyone was going to care or ever want to watch them, <laughs> except for my friends and family. So yeah. he gave us like this dead hard drive yeah. and like a bunch of discs, yeah. and we did digging. <laughs> but what's amazing was in that digging, we also found some really cool content that you didn't mm -hmm. put out before. Mm. Some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, so we threw that on the Blu-ray as well. Yeah. So um, well, we also shot some commentary. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. it was also really great for Brendan to give us the, the creative liberty to express like ourselves like uh, visually as, as uh, artists and designers. And so we, we took a lot of creative uh, uh, liberties with the with the um, packaging and the and the DVD menu. So it was just like a really fun project uh, for all of us. Yeah. So enjoy. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah. So much. And we'll have a Q and A after with these two guys. <laughs> no, the most important stash of all. Oh, stash. No asshole. Big <laughs> porn stash. Oh, yes. I'm 
run a black light through this shit, and if there's no <laughs> blood comes on, you gotta find it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smell. <laughs> May I speak with Titty Titty Fun Bags, please? I'm sorry, who? Yeah, that's right. Jennifer love huge tits. Gabriel, I swear to God, if this is you, I'm gonna fucking come over there and smack you in the balls. Oh, come on. Let me just suckle at one of your titties. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> no? Then let me just have a little taste. Dude, I got 50 bucks. 50 bucks? You fucking kidding me? This is one of the rarest bootlegs on the bootleg circuit. Do you know the things I had to do to get this? No, and I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, this is really starting to make me lose my lunch. Can you just tell me what you want and I can see what I can do? I just want to be able to hunt your titties. Call <laughs> titty caca. I can't do that. I'll settle for a patly ass. This is breaking it Jake? Well, who knows if any of you guys really have questions? Uh, we don't even really know what we did. How did Night Owls go from Night Owls to Night Owls 5? That I'm not sure, but... We have a, uh, three of the cast members of the Night Owls films here today, one of which helped me start uh, the whole filmmaking thing to begin Hello. with. Uh, my friend Chris Medina right here with his, uh, his son, Bastion. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the question? So how did you get out, started doing Night Owls in the first place? Like what? How did we start? Yeah. I, I got a camera <laughs> for like my birthday one year, and I was like, I love movies. Let's see if I can make one. And I, you know, that's what the first one was. Um, well, back in the day, I used to, you know, uh, you know, do the YouTube videos, and we just used to talk because that's all we used to do is just all talk about movie stuff all the time, and that's just pretty much it. Is I'm like, hey, I'm doing one. You want to want to be a part of it? Because at the time he lived in Maryland, and. Uh, he was coming to you know San Diego Comic Con one year, and I was just like, "You mind if we shoot a little thing at the end of one day?" And that was it. And we just shot that one little clip of you know us in that you know hotel room air lobby area. Yeah. How did you get Lloyd Kaufman? If you notice, yeah. How did I get Lloyd Kaufman? It's the same way I got Sean. I was at Comic Con, and he was there. I'm like, "Hey, Uncle Lloydy, you mind if you film something?" He's like, "Okay," because he's like, he's all about supporting independent art and stuff. How was it to work with Gabe and Brendan? And did you know it was a movie, a vlog, or did you not even know it was anything? We were just screwing around. He, he asked me uh, if we could shoot a little bit over at, at uh, Pierce College, and that was where we were in detention the first time. And yeah. It just kind of went off from there. I mean, it was a lot of fun. Gabe was fun to work at. Mm -hmm. Brendan wrote everything. He directed everything. He did all the sets. I mean... I didn't do the sets. The sets were there. We just, you know, yeah. went there and just, uh, we're I'm filming sure you saw the green thing during the phone call, you know? Yeah. He made sure that, that I was, like, holding it just before he cut out. Thanks for that. Yeah, no, but me, me and Chris... Uh, actually, I, was, I think I was friends with Gabriel first when it came to like elementary school and things but we don't really remember going to school together and at that time but then i went to high school and i went was high school uh friends with chris and uh we used to hang out all the time and i got that camera around that time i'm like hey let's try to film something even though that first one was kind of rough oh and also that last film that you, you guys saw is part of a horror anthology that my main man uh aaron made it's called an hour to kill which will be out pretty soon because i think all, everything's pretty much done right aaron yeah yeah, but you, you never know what, what I'll do in the future. But I know it's kind of hot in here, and I don't want to keep you guys here. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got out of the screening right now. We got a group of the people uh, that ended up showing up over here. We got some other people. got Aaron up in the house over here. A whole group of people. Gabriel's inside uh, right now. But uh, what did you guys think? You're like, I mean, be honest. Yeah, really fun. It was incredible. You say super gay? No, it's super gay. <laughs> hey. Super gay. Okay, because it, it could be super gay. That, I love that. It, 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 it works. Yeah. But I just want to say thanks for, you know, thanks for coming out, man. Showing your support and everything. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. Fluffy and Mikey, what's going on back here? 
Oh. We're, we're acting like celebrities. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, man. One, two, three. All right, little man. You going home? You tired? No. No, you're not tired, Mr. Batman? No. No. All right, Chris, man. Thanks right. for coming out, bro. Yeah, man. I'll see you later, homie. All right, later. Bye. You have fun? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my jingle balls are turning red. Your what? Jingle balls are turning red. You know? Why are your jingle balls turning red? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking. I don't know what that means either. So, yeah, what's going on, man? I'm doing a signing. Okay. Okay. You're not charging people now, are you? He charged me 20 bucks for that. He did? Yeah. What a knob, dude. <laughs> What a knob. Why are you charging people? You charge? you talking talking hey, what's up, Fluffy? Bam, dude, you're surprised the shit out of me when you come walking in there with the, with Mikey. Holy shit. Fashion Marie. Yeah. All right, all right. You want me to sign this Blu-ray right here? Yes, please. That'll be 50 bucks. I'll square cash. I got a, I, actually, I will say, I will say 100. But that's, like, that's, that's Robert England numbers. I'm not at that status. It's like everything in your videos is 50 bucks. Yeah. Here we go. But yeah, man, we got this guy oh, yeah. buying a copy of the no, movie right sure. there, no, no. and we got this man yeah. right here. Hey, just got my yeah. sign by Gabe and the wet one. Well, thanks for getting one, bro. We also got my friend Joseph over here that got a Blu-ray of it. Oh yeah! And the only thing, the only way you can get these Blu-rays now is that the as screenings like this, because we don't have a website that sells them anymore. But I really do appreciate you getting one, my man. Yeah, thank God. Hey, Mikey. Mikey, man, thanks for coming out to the screening tonight, bro. Thank you for letting me see it for probably my ninth time. Yeah. No, but we're all thinking about getting something to eat at this place in Burbank called Golden Bear. Are you down to come with us? I just wanted to let you guys know I'm very too proud of these guys for just making movies and putting entertainment pride mm -hmm. and just doing something in life. So, honestly, Gabe, thanks, Brandon, man. you guys are amazing. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, man, no problem. Sure. But we're, we're going to be going to get some food right now at this place called Golden are Bear. Are we? Look, Fluffy. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, we were talking already. Oh, yeah. I just wanted you to come to Fluffy. Oh, yeah, we all know Fluffy up in the Hayos. Hey, Andrew. Andrew, you got a big old stack of these left. So if people want to buy them from you, should I have them message you on your Instagram? Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll put a link to it. Link to it? Yeah. Your Instagram. So, if, yeah, follow him on Instagram if you guys want to get copies. That's the only way you can get them right now is if you get them through uh, him himself. Yeah, yeah. I'm Fluffy, what are you doing? You dumping water on Gabe, dude? I didn't do Gabriel, are you getting wet, dude? Oh, uh, yeah, Paul. Uh, so, uh, are you gonna be the wet movie now? I gotta take this off and explore my tank, Oh, oh, oh dude, you're stripping. He's stripping, Andrew. Dude, I, I think. I this a long time. Dude, I think Gabe has probably a, the better body when it comes to muscle and stuff now, these days. He's got better tattoos than I have. Oh, I know. Hey, Gabriel, do you wanna show the people the new tattoo you have? Show them the boobs. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. But, Andrew, man. It was cool uh, hanging dude, out. Always, bro. Wow. I, mean, I don't see that often, but when we do, it gets crazy. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're at the restaurant right now, Golden Bearish. We're about to head on in, meet the crew that uh, that are hanging out with us today. We got Fluff and we got Bauer. So let's go on in and get our grub on. We're now at the restaurant right now. We got Aaron up in the house. We got some of the posse that showed up to the premiere and everything. Oh, oh. Drop it. Put it on his head. Yo. Try it again, try it again, try it again. At least try to knock his glasses off his Do it. There you go. Yes. Yes. Rest your gut on his head. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's how we roll with the crew. Well, guys, the food just showed up. I think it was. What did you get, it, Fluff? What is it? What, what do you call this one? It's the it's regular. Double bacon cheese. Oh, shit. I ended up getting the, you know, the chicken, chicken Caesar salad. And there's Mikey's one. It's yeah. called Wagyu beef. It's called a Wagyu beef? Wagyu. <laughs> Is that what you call it these days, Mikey? Yeah, it shouldn't be eaten like this, but hey, it's called Wagyu beef and I've always wanted to try it. Alright, man, just don't waggle your beef in front of me. You and your sex joke. <laughs> yeah. So what did you end up getting, bro? Steak. Steak. Steak, 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 tacos. steak tacos? Awesome. Hey, dude, quick question. How did you come across the videos? I think it was... I think you reviewed... Um, Let me try to remember. That's alright. I think it was one of the Child's Play movies. I think it was, this was years and years ago. I, I don't know how I came across it, but you were reviewing a Child's Play movie and then from there I was just looking up to it. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> the funny thing about this gentleman is, I believe it's his first time in LA, mm. and out of all the things he can do in LA, <laughs> being from Orlando, yeah, he can do anything. Yeah. He decided to go to a wet movie one video screening of five short films. Yeah. That are not the best. I'm just kidding. Oh, I love them. No, I know. <laughs> you had so many options. I did. Yeah. But I had to come support my guy. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. But can I ask you guys a question? How did you guys come across the videos? Yeah. Uh, Through this guy. Yeah. I shot yeah. Him, uh, your videos. Yeah, yeah. The way I got into it was just. Uh, I was selling like a, my old DVDs on the internet. Okay. And so I kind of stumbled across your uh, videos, like hunting, you know, for Blu-rays and that sort of stuff. Gotcha, man. So just looking up, you know, like you know, reviews and that. Yeah. Cool, man. Hey, I just want to say thanks for coming out and supporting uh, the screen tonight. You too, man. Bro. <laughs> bro, are you, why are you watching me on your phone? We're right, we're right here in person, bro. You know, like you, you can like look up from your phone just for a little while. I had to see this lady, you guys. Are we're here, we're here in person, but now you're watching us. Okay, okay. They're gonna start kicking us out of here if we don't get out of here. So we've been talking and just messing around. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that's exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna throw us out. And so you guys gotta stop Are this. They gonna throw us out if we don't get out. <laughs> yeah, if we don't get out, yeah, we gotta get out. You know how it is. He's getting it. He's not getting the reference. Cause it's the middle of the night, bro. Ooh, now the, oh, yeah. the way he said "bro" was like an anger word. Man. Yeah, bro. Are we having a YouTube fight? What, what do you say, Donkey Lips? What? Oh. What? <laughs> Check this out, bro. Well, Check say say something else, Donkey Lips. <laughs> all right, all right. Check it out. You're making breakfast. While I'm eating dinner. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. Hey. <laughs> You're sleeping as I'm jerking off. Oh. oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Look, you're heating up in the summer while I'm bundled up in the winter. Ooh. Oh. You burning in the summer? While I'm bundled up in the winter. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know what else to say to you. I'm done. No, no, we're done. Fuck this. You're killing me, Lisa. Fuck you. Bye, Nickelodeon boy. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm not a wet movie one. You couldn't even get wet movie? <laughs> Listen. Here's a wet movie one for you. <laughs> well, check it out. I've had sex with a girl. Oh. A plastic one. <laughs> it was still a girl plastic one. Well, I have a plastic one too. Fuck you, and her name's Sarah. Sarah cheated on me? <laughs> yeah. Remember, I, I, I returned it to you and she was just... Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're coming down to the end of the video here. The whole posse is about to disperse. I really do appreciate you guys all watching and supporting the videos. Give the video a thumbs up. Oh shit. What up, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Let us know how cringy we are. And if you guys want to get a Blu-ray of your own, check out Andrew's Instagram. Link down below. But thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks to all you guys for being here. But uh, we'll see you guys all next time. Cheesy balls! Ooh.